The Martin X-23A Prime, precision re-entry including maneuvering re-entry, was a small unmanned lifting body re-entry vehicle developed by the United States Air Force in the mid-1960s. Its primary purpose was to study the effects of maneuvering during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, including cross-range maneuvers up to 1,143 kilometers from the ballistic track. Unlike the asset vehicle, which focused on structural and heating research, the X-23A Prime aimed to demonstrate advanced maneuvering capabilities. The X-23 was constructed from a combination of titanium, beryllium, stainless steel, and aluminum. It consisted of two main sections, the aft main structure and a removable forward glove section. The entire structure was covered with a Martin-developed ablative heat shield, ranging from 0.75 to 2.75 inches thick, with a carbon phenolic nose cap. Aerodynamic control was achieved through a pair of 12-inch by 12-inch lower flaps, fixed upper flaps, and rudders. Outside the atmosphere, a nitrogen gas reaction control system was used. At Mach 2, a drogue balut deployed to slow the vehicle's descent, allowing a 47-foot recovery chute to deploy for mid-air recovery by a specially equipped JC-130B Hercules aircraft. The first X-23 Prime vehicle was launched on December 21, 1966, from Vandenberg Air Force Base atop an Atlas SLV-3 launch vehicle. This mission simulated a low-Earth orbit re-entry with zero cross-range. Although the balut deployed at 99,850 feet, the recovery parachute failed to fully deploy, resulting in the vehicle crashing into the Pacific Ocean. The second vehicle, launched on March 5, 1967, simulated a 654-mile cross-range re-entry with hypersonic banking. Despite the successful deployment of the recovery parachute, reefing cutters failed to actuate, leading to the vehicle sinking in rough seas before it could be retrieved. The final prime mission on April 19, 1967, successfully simulated a re-entry from low Earth orbit with a 617 nautical miles cross range. All systems performed perfectly and the X-23 was recovered. An inspection reported the craft ready to fly again, but no further missions were conducted. The third X-23 is now displayed at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. The X-23 Prime was part of the USAF START program, which aimed to develop technology for maneuvering lifting body re-entry vehicles. The project was influenced by early research at NACA's Ames and Langley Laboratories, leading to the development of the M2 and HL-10 series of flight demonstration vehicles. The X-23's design was based on the SV-5D lifting body configuration, initially planned for the X-24 manned aerodynamic test aircraft. The X-23 Prime's development was also connected to the National Reconnaissance Office, which sought to reduce the time for film recovery from reconnaissance satellites. The National Reconnaissance Office was interested in using maneuverable re-entry vehicles to land film within the continental United States, enhancing quick response capabilities. Although the X-23 Prime was not used operationally for this purpose, its research contributed to the development of the NASA Space Shuttle and the X-37B spaceplane. In summary, the Martin X-23 Prime played a crucial role in advancing re-entry vehicle technology, demonstrating significant cross-range maneuvering capabilities and influencing future spacecraft designs. Its legacy continues to impact modern aerospace engineering, highlighting the importance of experimental vehicles in pushing the boundaries of technological innovation.